They call it the most cost-effective mini PC with Intel N100 processor. So, a current CPU architecture and lots of features running on Windows 11 Pro at the unbelievable price of just above $150? For real? Let's inspect! Hey guys and girls, great to meet you. I'm the Tech Mishka and this here is a mini PC coming from the company JMK Tech. And I've tested a lot of mini PCs in my life, but none of them have been that close to the $150 barrier. Maybe I should say the $100 barrier if you use the right coupon code and you know where you can find such. Now, uh, just to give you an estimation, this runs the Intel N100 series, which belongs to the Intel Older Lake 12th generation, and offers decent performance and consumes ridiculously low amount of power. Just to give you an easy to get example, this here in idle mode is going to consume about the same as two LED light bulbs at home. And I guess you have a lot of questions like, is it easy to repair? Is it upgradable? How about gaming? How about real life performance? And I've got you covered, so let's dive into it. I've already mentioned about the crazy good price. Technically, it starts at 179 US dollars for the most basic configuration, but often there are some coupon codes saving you dollars, and in order to find the best deal, check the video description. For a fact, on its domestic market, you can sometimes buy it at even less than $100. Unboxing feels good. JMK Tech are on the market for quite some time already, so I guess some of you may easily recognize them. Nothing too fancy and it feels it's a generic box where they fit more than one model. So far so good. This is the new box G3, lush green color. Reminds me of the color of my Galaxy S23 case, almost the same. The color is fine, but if you target another placement, maybe it's somewhat demanding. There's an included power adapter and also a plate, which you can use in order to mount to a VESA standard and the stand behind a TV or a monitor. There are a bunch of connectivity ports, shape and size similar to many other mini PCs. If you care about the specifications, let me highlight the most remarkable out of them. The quad-core N100 processor, 8 or 16 GB of RAM, storage up to 512 GB, Bluetooth 5.2, supported output to two monitors simultaneously, USB 3.2 support and Windows 11 Pro as an operating system. So, the specs of this body sound fairly good and obviously the focus here is on delivering a small computer which consumes a very small amount of power and still delivers pretty good quality. If we compare it to a true gaming setup, this here is going to consume just a fraction of the power. Whether it delivers the same amount of performance and whether games are playable at all, I'm going to show you in just a moment. Now, in terms of connectivity ports, we have a bunch of these. I guess we have everything which is really necessary for a small computer, which most of the time you would attach to the back of your monitor. Important to mention that inside we rely on DDR4 memory and going to DDR5 is not really an option, quite unfortunately, but if you have the right DDR4 grade DIMMs, performance is going to be decent. Speaking of RAM, it's a good idea to make a tear down and figure out whether upgrades are possible at all and whether we can actually repair it. Well, technically, it's not too bad. You need to remove the top cover in order to access the internals or part of them. The fan is at the bottom, so it won't bother us too much right now. You can add or replace the RAM modules. Looks like JMK Tech have used a good value model. Storage here is by Lexar. Just a kind reminder that if you have the same mini PC, it might come with slightly different hardware. For the different batches, they may switch to different RAM or storage, whichever is the best fit. No extra slot for a 2.5 inch drive either, so Nukebox G3 is a bit limited about expanding the storage, but you can go for up to a 2 terabyte NVMe and you can also swap the SO DIMM. Definitely a lot better than the Blackview MP80, but let's not forget that it also happens to be the bigger one. Still, the internal layout looks good and quite tidy, which speaks good of JMK Tech's design team. Switching now to testing modes, we want to see how capable this N100 actually is. Well, it certainly delivers. Personal opinion, if you need to choose between N95 and N100, go for the latter option. It is simply a lot better and won't consume much more power. Intel go for a fairly good performance per watt ratio and mini PCs like Nukebox G3 are a good example of how this can be best utilized. 
Office tasks are easy to handle, documents, emails, reports, presentations, no issues at all, and it remains stable and cool, therefore quiet. If you push it a bit more to the limits, the fan is gonna get noisier, but nothing too annoying. If your preferred use case is multimedia, it's gonna serve you well. Movies, music, online TV and radio, all of them run fine. The processor architecture is Older Lake, that's Intel's 12th generation. It's about almost all multimedia codecs on a hardware level, so you're gonna enjoy very smooth playback of practically everything, or almost. If you need the PC for video editing, it's gonna be just fine, because most video editing softwares require a lot from your CPU. For the record, Cinebench in single-core test mode shows that N100 delivers 75% of what the iconic i7-7700 can and about 50% of its multi-core maximum, so this result is solid, especially at this price. If you're looking for some more benchmarks related to video editing, I guess the results from DaVinci Resolve drive testing are also quite relevant. And I'm very pleased to see TLC-based storage in this extremely budget configuration. Most of the manufacturers would include the inferior QLC models into much more expensive setups. Therefore, here we can expect very decent sustained performance. Gaming is also an option if you can accept and live with the limits implied by the architecture borders. This is in no way a gaming PC, but at the same time it is in no way a computer that you should totally ignore about gaming. Cause look, Counter-Strike 2, the former CSGO, is playable in 1080p and the frames per second count is totally fine. Triple A titles are hardly gonna run fine if at all, but well, sometimes we may have to make a choice. If budget is your priority, and if you need to decide between a regular PC with old architecture and this one, I'd seriously consider the Nukebox G3 if I were you. Because N100 is a fairly new processor and is gonna for sure stay relevant for a number of years. To the bonuses that you're gonna get are the excellent wireless connectivity protocols, the Intel's inbuilt Wi-Fi module also shows good results, most of the time, I felt quite comfortable working with a PC entirely in wireless mode. It's close to the performance of a gigabit LAN adapter. No drops of performance or other flops. Bluetooth is also present, namely 5.2, so you can connect a wide variety of peripherals, including a keyboard, a mouse, a headset, a smart speaker and many others, all of these simultaneously. The operating system is a stated Windows 11 Pro, there is no need to license it. If you wonder how the mini PC itself costs less than a fully functional Microsoft OS build, well, I guess JMK Tech uses an OEM volume license, so it's totally legit and you're going to receive all the ongoing updates and releases that Microsoft push. And the professional edition is for sure a lot better option than the home edition, because it's basically unrestricted. Everything that you know is doable in terms of customizations is available here as well. And based on my research about software and open ports, there seems to be zero bloatware. Combined with the UEFI-based BIOS, I guess this is a good and safe combo, but with budget-friendly mini PCs, I'd always keep in mind that companies never allocate a proper pie of the budget about security. If you want to take a look at my modest list about the drawbacks, I have of course discovered a few of them. The lack of a 2.5-inch SATA drive slot, the lack of Type-C port on the housing, and if you have something else to add, make sure to help me completing the list by adding your comments below the video. Even with these minor drawbacks, I think this is huge. Well, apparently not the shape because it's unbelievable how much performance they managed to fit into this small scale, but it's true for $150, that's a no-brainer. Even for the fact that you have a licensed Windows 11 Professional Edition, the JMK Tech's made Nukebox G3 is totally worth it, at least in my opinion. If you agree or disagree, or in case you have questions, or in case you want to share your feedback about its real-life performance after a certain amount of time, please be invited. The comment section is down below the video. If you want to buy it at a discount, maybe you want to check the video description area and some ways to support the channel are also listed over there. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Michael the Tech Mishka. Wish you a fantastic day and hope to see you soon. Bye.